You just flew in. Nice of you to be here because you flew in from Florida. Yes, I did. You got in like today. I so got it was in nice today. To yeah, the, the plane got diverted last night. Yeah. Because of weather. Yeah. Uh, and you know they don't refund your tickets if you miss your flight for weather. Is that but, true? Yeah, but don't you worry about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I do. I do fly a lot. And here's what I'm noticing, Conan. A lot of people are on edge these days, rightfully so. But everybody has got these emotional support dogs now. Yes. You know, it used to be you see one or two around with the vest on. It used to be very rare. Very rare, but now every kind of dog, the little poodles, the little chihuahuas, they have the red vest on. I think these red vests are easier to get than the medical marijuana cards. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. And, the, and you could fly for free with your dog if they have the red vest on. Right. But these dogs can barely fill the vest. They're like walking out of it. They're, they're, they're dragging along, you know, on the, on the floor <laughs> of the airport. I saw a... Uh, an emotional support hamster the other day. That's not red true. No. You, did, you saw an emotional support yeah. hamster? Yeah. They fly. I told my friend, I said, you should put on a red vest and fly for free. Just sit by my feet and be quiet. <laughs> and, fly for free. Yeah. and if I if I fall over, just start barking. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I would love to see one of these dogs saddle up next to like a real bomb sniffing dog at the airport. Those dogs are serious. Oh yeah. man, those these things, man. I, I wouldn't even mess with that. Um, but um, what do they think of these little dogs? You know, they seem they. What, what is that, a, like a, a windbreaker you got on? What is that, a Christmas uh, sweater vest you got on? What is that? This, this is a 17-pound armored Kevlar, you know, bulletproof vest. You think bomb sniffing dogs have contempt for therapy dogs? I do. I know they do. <laughs> I know they do. I sniff, they sniff out bombs. They yeah. risk their lives. Yeah. What, is this? what do you do for your owner? Well, you know, my owner is uh, prone to mood swings and so forth and so on. <laughs> but you can tell the ones that are trained at the airport. You know, they could pick a dime up off the floor, they could open up the, uh, the door. They yeah. could even predict when they're, this is the craziest thing, they could predict when their owner is about to have a seizure. And you That's know, true, I've heard of that. These dogs that know the owner's about to have a seizure and they know that- uh, They like, call 911 right yeah. away. <laughs> uh, I've never heard that one before, that's good. But, um, no, but the, some of the other dogs, you can tell the other ones aren't trained. You know, they bark, they sniff, you know, they beg for food at the, uh, at the at the airport uh, restaurant. But sometimes if you see a dog like dry humping their owner's leg, mm -hmm. not necessarily uh, a bad dog. Maybe uh, the owner is a sex addict. And this dog can predict <laughs> orgasms. You're saying? <laughs> the dog, dog is predicting maybe, an orgasm. Maybe, maybe, that's all I'm saying. What a great dog to have on a Saturday night. You go bar hopping, should we go in this bar? How about this bar? This bar, buddy? This bar? No, no, no. They can predict orgasm. And then it starts, when it starts humping your leg, that's, the, that's go that's, time. That's go time. Wow. <laughs> Dumbest theory I've heard in a long time. I'm just Look, being honest with I you. I am not, I'm not like, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Comedian? You're not a comedian? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just, I just observe, that's all. You just all. observe. Yeah, I'm better at observing hands. I noticed that. You seem obsessed with hands lately.